Hi there and welcome to another edition of BusterNet. My name is Rashidi and we continue with the West Brom safe on our adapting series. West Brom are going to be challenged today against a Wigan side that are flirting with relegation and this makes it a really tough game. I anticipate Wigan to be extremely defensive and we may pay the price for a really long unbeaten run. We have had a few players out injured and I suspect this is not going to be an easy game. This is the lineup I'm going to be going with. Uh, this is the team that will face Wigan. I will be resting my first choice left back who is Juan Cruz Robledo, um, electing to use Luke Garbert. Luke Garbert has is pretty good with set pieces so he might be necessary in this game I'm also electing to leave Salas and Leandro Salas on the bench uh, Slavchev who's got a rocket right foot from range I'm gonna pick him as well because this might be a game where I might find the need to score from range I'll put in Piñata Piñata is uh, one of my favourite players right now. He's actually pushing the captain of the team, Lorenzo Cristi, to the bench. Which is a bit sad, but the reality is I want my unbeaten run to continue. And I do, ex Christy is already 30 years old, I do plan to sell him off. Starting with a 4-4-2 di narrow diamond. I do expect Haltari to come up and you know pose problems down our right flank. I might make Mixi Raka into a fullback on support. For some, for some reason, I have a bad feeling about this game. Um, Inns is an attacking forward. Um, he's going to be more of a target man with um, the DLF playing on support. This AMS... Whenever the computer plays a 4-4-2 narrow diamond, I notice that the AM in this position tends to switch switch uh, duties. He might become more attacking, he might become, you know, he'll support, he'll drop up and down throughout the game. The AI does do that for a fair bit. I do expect Boateng to really try and control this whole area, which is the right side of my free field, and he's going to be going head to head with Piñata. On the left, Cristoforo will try and explore the space that is uh, created by uh, Cooper's uh, vertical runs. So the the entire right flank of uh, sorry the entire left flank of um, Wigan are going to be putting pressure on my right. What I will do, knowing that this is going to be a defensive team, is put Mixi Raka on a support. I am definitely going to play a lot wider and yes, we shall leave the rest alone and hopefully I got this right. The reason why I've elected to go wider is because they are going to be defensive. So we need to create a lot more space. I'm holding my right midfielder down because their left flank is a lot gonna be a lot more attacking than than I and I anticipate that to be quite a dangerous spot on the pitch. So if I can keep Mixiraka Mixiraka as you can see even if he's on support he manages to get into the box and lays off across that Moreno puts into the back of the net. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Oh yes, so we are brilliant. Mixi Raka. Three players in the box to choose from. What else can I ask for? The width was the right move. Garbert has got the set piece. He's got that boot. Unfortunately, you know, for once it didn't really work out. Slav Chef to Mixi Raka is having a blinder. Chino lays it off to Moreno. Gauchino and Nathan, I thought they got into each other's way, but they managed to work it out between them, finding Moreno who scores as his second goal of the game. The whiff is working to our advantage. Uh, 
I was really worried at the start of this game because Wigan are fighting for survival. The good news for me is that Kaltauri is now injured. I hate saying that about anyone, but you know, he's picked up an injury and this does mean that their, their left flank is not going to be as potent as I had expected. Alright, the good news, Moreno, you've done it. Okay boys, just uh, play the game that you want to play. Let's um, see if um, we can have done anything different because we can do have so we can do have to try and survive. Okay, we can have changed their system. Pause for a course. They've got five flat in midfield. This means we stay on wide. It's gonna play out to our advantage. They don't have an AM in the strata here, which gives our you know forwards a lot more space if they can get the ball to them. Cristoforo has been moved into an um, attacking playmaker. Gauchino has picked up an injury. This means that I have to consider bringing on someone else to play in that position. It's a challenge because he is a good player. There's no substitute for him. I'm putting Keely. Let Gauchino have a rest and let's carry on. Gauchino has had a great game so far. But I do. I only have him left as an out and out striker to accompany Moreno. The rest are injured. I got a loss for words. Come on, boys. Let's keep it going. Two out of three. Chapman with the corner. Of, oh, oh my lord! What a corner from Wigan and we still haven't cleared the ball. Simeon Slashev can be taken off now. Alright, uh, we can bring on Christique for Slavchev. Slavchev is not playing the game I was hoping he'd play. To me, 6.5. If he's 6.5, surrounded by other people who are a lot higher, then I'm. Then I start. You know, I'm, he becomes a candidate for me to take him off. I do have concerns about um, Nathan as well. He's not having a really good game by his standards. Game's almost over. Yeehaw! Good win, boys. Well done. My biggest concern was that flank. So, by putting Mixiraka into a support position, he still has to get forward PPM that allows him to move up and down the flanks. By keeping him on support, we didn't overcommit. We knew that at the start of the game, their left flank had a potentially players that can move into the zone over here and that was my biggest worry throughout the game so holding him back in support allowed Christique to have a bit more security around this uh, rather here Simeon Slavchev was playing here so there was a lot more security in the zone we were able to exploit the other flank because they had a, a fullback was on defend duty this was a good win going wide worked really nicely. Gauchino was a key player. Tran defense. I have not seen a defender get man of the match in my team for Yonkers. It's been a while since we've had a defender be the man of the match. Well, we have done it. We have managed to get past the banana skin 15 days. Chelsea, Porto, Stoke, QPR and Wigan. Those were our five matches that I was worried about. We just uh, finished the match against Wigan, winning it 2-0. We beat QPR 2-0. We drew to Stoke. This was a match that um, Stoke led 1-0 and we managed to come back. If you haven't seen the game, you should because um, I was about to lose the unbeaten streak. Next game, our next game will be against Manchester United, PSG and Arsenal. <laughs> oh god. Let's look at our run thus far. So let's 
let's look at our run thus far uh, we are definitely doing our best to not lose it's not 256 games can we keep this run going i don't know well i hope you enjoyed this edition of buster net it's a pretty short show by my standards but i don't want our, my shows to get really long if you have any questions you know where you can find me my Twitter handle is at Bustanet and you can find me on my blog at www.addictedtofm.com There's a lot of articles there. I'm considering redesigning the site. Just let me know what you think. And if um, you'd like this video, please subscribe, like it, you know, share, comment with me. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. I will catch up with you guys soon. From me to you, enjoy.